Hi friends, welcome to Talent Blazer where you get to know a lot about your first job, placements, how to prepare for it, UGC net preparation as well. So today we would be discussing about one very important facet of interview and that's your introduction. Now why is introduction important? Of course introduction is very much important and it is one of the most common questions which a recruiter asks the moment you sit for an interview. The first question which normally they ask uh, say 80 to 90 percent times is introduce yourself. Why do they really ask this question? We'll try to figure out. They ask this question because they want to know more about you. But and from your mouth, of course, because you've been yourself since last 20, 21 years or 22 years, whatever your age is. And how do you really speak about yourself will definitely give them an assessment of what are you all about. Their scrutiny starts right from the introduction itself and they start judging you on your competency skills as you introduce yourself. Third and the most important point, of course, you leave cues for the next question. That's a very, very important point. While you're really introducing yourself, you introduce yourself in such a manner where you talk about your past and all your achievements. So when you talk about them, you leave a cue. Like if you talk about you being good at coding, of course, the next question probably is going to be on coding. If you talk about something where you you are good at you know accountancy your next question is going to be on accountancy so when you leave those cues they are going to ask those questions like while while explaining if you say that yes you are an ntsc scholar next question would might really be on that as well on Olymp- mathematics olympiad champion mathematics question would might really come so uh, you are sh- you know structuring the entire interview by structuring the introduction now why is structuring important uh, this is a very very important thing because when you are really prepared with your answer you are confident while you're really answering that question and that loosens up you for the rest of the interview where you do not really have that butterfly in your stomach because icebreaker has already happened you've already spoken now you're ready for the next question so it's very very important having the right uh, thought flow is something which the recruiter has been observing right from you know you stepping in because everything which you do after that is something which has been monitored so having the right flow of thought, putting the right sequence, how are you really, you know, presenting yourself. So this is how they judge your flow of thought. And of course, as I said, you leave cues for the next questions. That is, when you are talking, while while you're introducing yourself, you mentioned that you're good with coding. Next question probably is going to be on coding itself. If, if, if you have let them know that you're good with, you know, your uh, probably probably your uh, speaking skills, probably the next question would might really be on how have you really been doing it. How should you structure your uh, introduction? That's very much important. And while you are really introducing yourself, you'll have to speak about your past, where you'll be talking about what all you know achievements you've got in the past, how are you aligning those achievements with the present, and what implication is it really going to bring in the future. So all three facets of past, present, and future should be covered while you're really answering them. The structuring does not mean that you'll have to start from the past, present, and then future. You can start it from future, go to present and go to the past however you want to structure there's no specific format but it's always good if you really go in the chronological order like right from your 10th standard 12th standard your graduation and so on and so forth so uh, while you're really answering about your past you have to talk about your academic background because one of the most important reason why the recruiter is sitting in front of you and is 
there to hire you because they want to know because you've done something in your okay Uh, background so you have to talk about the academic background you'll have to talk about the achievements which you've got during this academic background and of course by by saying achievement you can talk about the co-curricular activities over here as well when you can talk about the sports while while you're speaking about the present you do not really have much of an option because you'll have to talk about what have you really been doing in the course which you're pursuing right now so you will have to show some skills by letting them know what have you really done during your course like projects internships these are some very important things and of course how are you inclined through this like when, again i'll have to really take the example of coding so if you're good at coding and if you're sitting for an inter- uh, interview which asks for a software developer or if you're sitting for a sales interview probably your communication skills is definitely going to be important and your etiquette really becomes important over there as well talking about the, when you are talking about your future you should be very very sure about what exactly are you really looking at 5 years down the line if you can align your brain of this question as to what exactly are you really thinking of in the next 5 years that would definitely impress the recruiter and of course the skills which you learned in the past and in present what you are learning how exactly are they really going to be helpful in the futures role which you are imagining in the next 5 years now practice makes a man perfect and uh, it's very important that you need to really keep on practicing for aptitude you can always go on our platform which is uh, talent blazer you can find it on google play and you can start it for free you'll get a lot of sample tests for free Uh, like in aptitude you can get psychometric test you can get uh, you know iq test gk test verbals non verbals uh, there 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 are very a lot of free sample tests which are there you can always go there and have fun uh, by solving them and of course it will definitely help you in your preparation So this is Talent Blazer uh, we have been to some of the very good colleges of our country like Delhi School of Economics Delhi School of Management and SIT Gautam Buddha University JL Bajaj Lloyd Business School and many more to name a few um we are almost present on all platform we, you can reach out to us at any platform which you want and we'll definitely like to really connect with you and respond to any of your query